our tail of the tape for this, our co-main event of the evening. You can take a look. He may be three inches shorter, but look at that reach advantage that King Mo has. That's one of the things that's made him special, and he uses it very well. Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA now presents tonight's co-main event set for three five-minute rounds contracted at 195 pounds. And now, live on Paramount Network, introducing the Blue Corner. At six foot three, weighing in 192.7 pounds, making his Bellator debut, he breaks a professional record with 14 wins, six losses. Yes, By way of Minneapolis, hey, go, huh? Minnesota, he fights out of Denver, Colorado, Andrew Capel. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. At six foot, weighing in 193.3 pounds, a former light heavyweight world champion standing tonight with 21 professional victories, nine defeats. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, introducing King Mo the Wall. Time to be a badass now. In charge of the action, your referee, Jaron Vallel. Bring it in, gentlemen. Defend yourself at all times, obey my commands. If you'd like to touch gloves, do so now. Come out ready to fight. King Mo, never been submitted. Andrew Capel, never been knocked out. Co-main event of the evening. Fighter, fighter, fight! Here we go! King Mo in the red gloves. Andrew Capel in the blue gloves. 21st professional fight for Capel, 32nd for King Mo. Nice front kick right off the start by Andrew Capel. Want to get King Mo's attention. He just did it with the bottom of his foot. Nice shot to the body by King Mo. Capel coming in on a four fight win streak. 10 of his 14 career wins by submission. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ooh. That's the big difference that I see between the two fighters is I know King Mo has got that fast twitch muscle fiber and when he wants to explode, he is still very quick. 13 career wins by knockout for King Mo. See Mo going to the body, coming up to the head. That's what a nice, beautiful, straight right hand. That's what a veteran fighter does. Start to break down that body. Oh, he's out. Oh, it is all no. He was out. It is all over. Just right there. Andrew Capel finishes King Mo. Wow. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to the cage. That long wait. Definitely worth it for Andrew Capel. Tonight's fight replay is brought to you by the Marines. I'm here now, Scott. Watch this shot. It's a right hand. You see the low hands. Kick comes up to the body. Ola responds. Watch the right hand. Boom, there it hit. He is unconscious going down. He's trying to respond, but there is nobody home right now. Nothing is there, nothing's responding. You see Andrew Capel landing those shots. They were unnecessary, unneeded. Watch again the right hand. Bep, right on the button. Watch this in real speed. It's hard to tell. Bep, right there. The Marines winning battles for our nation and for all its people. Big smile on the face of Andrew Capel, winner by knockout. Tonight's corner cam brought to you by Boost Mobile, the switch that gives you more. Andrew Capel told us people don't really get to see my striking. That is no longer 
the truth. Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. One minute, 22 seconds, round number one. The winner by knockout, Andrew Capel. He said it was hard for me to put this long wait into words, and King Mo has put the gloves down in the middle of the Bellator cage, signifying that this is the very last time for King Mo Luol, one of the greatest personalities in the history of this sport. Here's Big John. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Andrew Capel. Andrew, sometimes it's all about getting an opportunity and making the most of that opportunity. You did that here tonight. How you feeling? Oh, man, without risk, you know, the opportunities don't count. So uh, hard to put into words. I just want to say first and foremost, respect to King Mo. I saw his debut in Japan years and years ago. The dude's a legend. He's marketed himself so well. He wrestled here in Oklahoma. So give it up for King Mo, please, and taking this fight. It was dangerous. He didn't have to. Thank you. Give it up. Give it up. You're absolutely right. He is a legend in the sport. Do you think this says something to everybody about what you can do in the middleweight division? I'm here, John. I'm here, man. And you know what? There's going to be more where this came from. It's been a long road, long road to be at a major organization, and I'm finally here. So uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone who believed in me. And uh, we're coming, Jen. We're coming. We're going to do it. Well, I'll tell you, congratulations. That was a beautiful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Andrew Capel. I am here with a legend, King Mo. I know that you're disappointed, but talk to me about this being your last fight. Yeah, man, it's my last fight. You know, I had a great time fighting, you know. It is what it is, man. Um, I had an opportunity to do a thing that Capel did to me. I did it to, his, um, to Travis View, and now it's time to get, get back. He got about me. Well, you have not only been an unbelievable fighter, you're an incredible dad, but you're an incredible trainer with ATT. Are we going to see you sticking with the training and bringing young new fighters in? Uh, yeah, man. You know, we got uh, some talent at ATT. Uh, my boy Sydney Outlaws fighting next week. So shout out to Sydney, um, Ricky Bandejas. Um, Jordan Young, we got a lot of talent, man, and uh, I'm gonna help try to build them. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I was able to share the cage with you 11 times. You were always fantastic. I want to tell you, it was always an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, King Mo Lawal.